<laughs> John, um, a lot of positives to take from that performance this afternoon. Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted for the players, you know, because uh, they've done it really tough. Uh, I think I said to you on uh, Thursday, mate, that our injury list has fluctuated between six and ten. Uh, we got Rowan Milnes back today and uh, he made a massive, massive difference. You know, he, he just played in a controlled, composed manner, uh, created the first two tries and uh, he just adds, he's a halfback and he's added to us and, you know, much as Elliot's done a great job filling in there, you could tell we'd got two guys out there who were are used to playing halfback and, and it was so good to see because we were controlled and, and it was just a real good performance. So uh, I'm delighted for the players. Uh, and I'm delighted for young Rowan, who I thought was outstanding. I thought young Matty Stoughton also down that left edge, he, he caused all sorts of problems for uh, for Richardson. So, you know, it's, it's been a good day at the office, and, and they've got what they deserve today, have the players. And I'm absolutely wrapped for that. And that might be why I was so emotional at the end, because I think they've done it tough. And when you see people you care about doing it tough and then coming through the other side, it's uh, it's good. It's good to see. Fair it's it's why in sport. Is it fair to say, John, that that were the, the, the true reflection of the Bradford Bulls this afternoon? I think I think they've all been true reflections. You know, you can only put the team out that you can select from. You, you can't magic players, you know, from the sideline. And we put what we felt was a, a representative team out today. Oh, everybody's, you know, played the part in it. And I include Ash Gibbs. You know, Ash played in the reserves on Wednesday. Because of his performance, he got a spot on the bench today, and I thought he was magnificent as well, forcing a couple of errors down our right edge defensively because uh, he's just a clever reader in defence, and obviously, Reece Evans certainly profited from that. In terms of the performance, John, you must be pleased with that second half to, to keep a side like Lee to score. I was pleased with the first half, to tell you the truth, you know, because I thought Lee came out uh, really firing. And that again, that's something we've got to address because again, we went behind at the start. So that, that's an area for us to improve upon. And I thought Lee played some good rugby. They asked questions of us. Uh, and eventually we grew into the game. You know, we, we were, because of recent results, we were a bit nervous. And you could, I think you could see that. But as, as we got into the game, grew into the game, you, you felt more and more confident. At 12 apiece, I was so pleased we got that penalty to, to tie the scores up because I, at that point I felt really confident we'd come away and, and win the game and, and that's how it's been proved. Focusing on the penalties, it's fair to say that you did benefit from a lot of ill-discipline from Lee. Yeah. And in terms of... I agree with you. There we go. Um, and in terms of the, the, the side, John, Ethan Ryan at full-back, uh, standing in for Brandon Pickersgill? No, I mean, it was, we, I've spoken and, and there was a reason behind that. The players know the reasons and that's, it's them that matters. So they know the reasons why there was a change in, uh, in our back three. Uh, and I think, you know, you could see that it worked. And, you know, the forward pack, we went for mobile units because we know the threat that Liam Hood and, uh, and that Mickey High imposed sat out to do my half. So that's why we went that, down that to Wayne selection and, uh, you know, the, I think the results justify the uh, the decisions. Indeed, Foggy Johnson's really going from strength to strength, John. His, his kick return today, I thought, was phenomenal. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. And like you say, he's, he's got a chance perhaps earlier than I thought he would because of, of Jai Hitchcock's injury, but he's, he's certainly taking that chance. And uh, I'd, I'd have just liked to see him get away, but, you know, Greg McNally just tapped his ankle, didn't he, with that, when he had that space in front of him. But... Uh, you know, we're okay. We've had a good day at the office today, and I'm absolutely delighted for the players. When did uh, Rowan Mills uh, become available? Was he always potentially going to play in this one, John? No, it was when Dalton was a little sore with his his groin, and uh, we we the physio said that Rowan was injury fee, but he didn't feel he was ready conditioning wise to play. Well, I think the physios done well get him injury free, but I think we were right to play him. So that's how it panned out. And you can see the belief growing, couldn't you? As a yes. Point on. Yeah. That, that must be, as you say, understandably a bit nervous at first, but yeah. the confidence within the group. I agree with you totally, Simon. It was, yes. I mean, you know, and, and they looked to be enjoying the occasion, didn't they? And it was a big occasion, and uh, it's, it's just really good to see. And I, I'm, yeah, I, I can't stay, I know I keep saying it, but how pleased I am for the players because not once have they come into work and been down and been doubting themselves, you know. They, we know we're a good team and we're going to develop into a very good team over the course of this year and, and the signs are there for all to see. I think that's the best win since I've been here. And, and 
and it shows the mental strength of the group as well, doesn't it? Because as you say, it could have been easy to feel a little bit sorry for yourself looking at the results, thinking, hang on, we've lost a few here. And well, you could look at the results, look at the injury list, and you've yeah, got a ready-made yeah. excuse, haven't you? Well, no, they haven't done that. They've, they've, they've came in, they've worked hard, they've realised we've put what we could, our best team out week on week. And each week they've performed, I mean, the biggest defeat we've had has been 14 points, so they've not been getting walloped, they've been competitive in every game and, and it's just good to see them grow and develop and come up with a performance like this. And going forward, you say on the back of such a good win, you know, you're so pleased with the players, will be so pleased with it, you know, the results going forward in the sense of their confidence is going to go. Now, so I, I would hope so, yeah, but the, what they've got to do is they've got to apply themselves equally as 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 urgently as they have today, you know, there's there's still that urgency for us to improve and progress, and they've got to apply themselves at work, in training, at team meetings, and obviously on the on the playing field as well, with that uh, attitude of hunger and determination, which they've demonstrated in bucket loads over these first eight games. Sam Alice, okay, after getting a head concussion, and then. Yeah, well, he's never been best looking one, has he, Sam? So uh, he's, he's all right. Yeah, he's just his nose is in slightly, you know, it's in north south anymore, slightly off off putting at the end. But he'll be all right, Sam. He's uh, he won't he won't bother about his nose. He'd, he'd soon have the win, I'll tell you. Every, every week he'd break his nose every week if we could win. How close did Jordan Lilly come to featuring now? Is it is it still a, a way off? He's still a way off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in all honesty, last week we tried to push him back and he, he just couldn't get on the field and. In all honesty, at the minute, he isn't running with the full range of movement, but we've now got two weeks until we play at Dewsbury, and hopefully he'll be ready for that, because I'm, I wouldn't risk him next week against Keithley. I wouldn't, uh, and especially after you've seen what, what we've seen today, you know, so uh, Jordan will be making sure he's ready for two weeks down the line.